Great, thanks for sitting down with us. You've just signed a two-year deal at the club. How do you feel? Yeah, class, to be honest. It's quality, you know. Uh, yeah, it's a massive step for me, I think. And uh, yeah, it's really excited. How have the conversations been with the manager, Kieran McKenna and Mark Ashton as well? Yeah, they've been really good. You know, when, when I was first approached, obviously I was literally thinking what you know what a massive club and what an opportunity but I think more in chatting with the manager finding more about the club about how he wants to play about my role and about where the club wants to go it's all been massive for me in uh, in making my decision so yeah it's been yeah it was really 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 positive in terms of how the manager wants to play how do you think you sit into that well, I think that the, ma the manager obviously spoke about playing a lot of football on, on, the, on the floor, playing around teams and keeping possession of the football. Something I've not done in my recent career, but something I've grew up doing. You know, we talk a lot about my history and how I've come from that sort of background of playing that type of football. So he knows he can entrust me to do that. And I think that worked well, thinking about how we could um, work together going forward. Yeah, you came through at Manchester City, and I guess that is very much their philosophy as well. Yeah, massively. You know, under my like, well, the latter years in my uh, in my youth team days, but up towards like twenty ones, played pure possession football. The idea was to keep possession of the ball away from the opposition and control games. You know, and, and the manager really believes in that as well as do I. So that's why it was a good fit. In, in terms of yourself as a player, how would you describe yourself to the fans? Uh, I'd probably say more physical than technical at the moment. Well, I'd call myself technically, but like probably a physical player. Uh, a lot of prowess, speed, agility, and um, and not bad in the air, things like that, and strength. Uh, but as well, I think I can handle the ball, and I'll hopefully show that I can do both sides of the game going forward than defending, yeah. You, uh, you spent last season with Morecambe, obviously in the same league as us in League One at the moment. How mm. was that experience? Yeah, it was good. It was good. It was an experience where, obviously, for it with myself, I was going into the the window sort of um, injured. Uh, I had a manager in Stephen Robinson who really believed in me to get me back to full fitness and so that I could fire. Obviously, I got a lot of games under my belt, you know, 41, which was good. A little bit of a scrappy time at times, obviously being at the bottom end of the league. Uh, but a great group of lads at Morecambe, uh, a real team spirit that kept us up and that was really good. And obviously just a massive positive for me to show what I could do, especially defensively, you know, when you're playing in a team that, that doesn't have the lion's share of possession a lot of the time. Um, but I think for me, the new challenge now will be playing in a team who's got the ball a lot more and, uh, and, and doing things going forward as opposed to maybe keeping teams out more. Two of the games you did play last season were against Ipswich, of course. Yeah. You played at Portman Road as well, where we're just walking around. How much are you looking forward to playing there as a home player now? Oh, massively. I mean, it was, uh, it was uh, I think it was my first game back in League One. Uh, for I'm trying to think now, three, three years it was my first game back, and that was obviously coming to Ipswich. And it was, uh, it was a, a big occasion and a big day. Uh, and obviously the game was, was really good last year, a competitive game. Uh, so yeah, even walking out there, I'm thinking I can't wait to just step out there and show what I can do you know, in front of the home crowd. Yeah, and like you say, last year you had that home crowd. It was twenty thousand strong on that day against you. It'll be it'll be nice to have that back in you this time, won't it? Yeah, definitely. Uh, it's been a while since I've had a, a home crowd like that, um, which will be yeah, amazing just to, to be to be behind the boys and to be behind the team, you know, and try and play and impress and show what we can do and also you know get results in front of you know everybody who's going to come out to watch. As well as talking about the stadium, we're also talking about the new kits out there. You're obviously wearing the away shirt right now. What, mm -hmm. What's your thoughts on, on that one and the home one, of course? Oh, it's lovely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, to be honest, I was, uh, I've been, it's been, I've seen it obviously online and things like that. Um, following the club, just seeing obviously that new partnership and stuff, but the shirt is, yeah, the shirt is really nice and yeah, being able to wear that, same before, I've never played in blue before, so I'll be excited to uh, to wear that and uh, yeah, show what we can do in, in, in a decent kit. Looking back through your career, you, you spent most of it in, in England and Britain, uh, but one thing that does stand out a little bit, you spent a couple of years in the Netherlands, how, how was that experience? It was good, it was interesting, because it's not something that everybody does, and I think that it's, it's happening more and more, which is nice to see, because I believe that British players can go to other countries and, and and do well, you know, and show what they can do. Because if you don't get the opportunities in your own country, you don't want to sort of keep yourself in a, in a bubble. Uh, and I think that the experience taught me a lot. It was unfortunate the way it panned out, just because perhaps I didn't have exactly the success I wanted to on the pitch. But I think it helped me grow as a person and, and as a player. And you know, I learned a lot about myself, like I say, on and off the pitch. Yeah. Uh, but the experience in the whole was mad. And also to, to go there and, and experience different leagues. You know, for me, it was like, it was something that was really interesting because those people have more emphasis on different kinds of philosophies, ways of playing. And that was something that I like to, to take on board and it helps you going forward in your career. Yeah. 
in terms of different leagues as well. You obviously spent some time with Aberdeen as well. So what was that like? Yeah, it was good. It was very good. I, working under Derek McInnes, man, and I, I really enjoyed that. You know, I think that I was I was unfortunate with injury there, um, just like random injuries as well, and stuff you've never you don't really hear about, which was frustrating because I think that we could have achieved something really good there, uh, and it was it was exciting to play in Scotland as well. Obviously, like your games against Celtic Rangers, the atmosphere playing in front of fifty thousand plus was was really really exciting, um, and I did enjoy my time there a lot. Just frustrated on how it went, but it was yeah, it was a, it was a good time and a good league. But, I mean, those experiences, good and bad, like you say, have built you into the person and the player you are today. Oh, 100 percent. You know, I think that when you have those experiences and they can tend to always like not always, but sometimes be obviously some positive ones, some negative ones. For me, I think that the more negative ones I've learned from has helped me be stronger and more resilient sort of going through my career and just made it more. Uh, yeah, just 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 more of a uh, all-rounded person as well. So I feel like that really helps going forward. And, and when new challenges come, it's like sometimes going over old ground so you know how to deal with it but if it's not then you 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 take it on board and learn from it again and it makes you overall stronger i'd say yeah away from club football you, you represent jamaica internationally how has how has that been that experience of representing them yeah that's been really that's been very very exciting you know i i we went i went into the side when it wasn't perhaps at the time when they were taking on board a lot of english players like i think that when i first went there was only i think they had three sort of people who'd been in there quite regularly in the system, but then they started to take on more and more. So seeing that transition has been interesting because I've only, I think I was only in there once, but I got to see like how many players have been brought through and the quality they were bringing into the squad, which is really exciting. Obviously the likes of like Mikel Antonio, Andre Gray, Ravel Morrison, Daniel Johnson, uh, Bobby Reed, and that had already been there, but bringing in those type of players, has been really exciting to see. Uh, and then to be you know part of, and you learn a lot just being around those sort of players. So uh, yeah, that's just been really good. And obviously the experience of playing was, was also really good, yeah. And back to Ipswich now. Do you know any other lads? I literally, I know one, I know the, the skipper, <laughs> I know, I know uh, Lee Evans, uh, but looking forward to like getting in and getting to know the rest of the boys. Yeah, and just finally, the, the lads are, are out training right now, first day of pre-season. Yes. How much are you looking forward to getting involved in that? Oh, massively. You know, I think that like everyone in League One experience the extra week and things like that. So I think for me, I'm excited to to just get out and, and sort of get fit, get going. Uh, and hit the ground running. That's, that was my main priority for uh, for this season, really. Yeah. Thanks for your time, Greg. No trouble. Thank you.